speaking of blessings, here's one. If you missed out on the best milkshakes ever when the Pennsylvania Farm Show was canceled earlier this year, don't worry, the Emmaus Farmer's Market has got your back. So Clayton, milkshake or slushy on a day like this? Uh, I'd go milkshake. Me too. Yeah, and like a classic malted vanilla shake or something like that. Definitely. Vacationers, listen up. Royal Caribbean ships are getting ready to sail in the U.S. for the first time in 16 months. And from the seas to the streets, gasoline prices are still holding steady around the nation following the Memorial Day weekend. But drivers are also still paying over a dollar more per gallon than they were a year ago. Tonight. On 69 News, people in Allentown are ringing in the month of May by standing up for things like workers' rights and immigration. We'll have a live report. Well, the U.S. is making big progress in the battle against COVID-19. More than 100 million Americans are now fully vaccinated against the virus, but health officials caution it's not time to declare victory just yet. The next park concert is planned for June 26th. Now let's cha-cha over to the Weather Center, where Clayton's got the forecast. First at 10, a small Carbon County community is reacting to the arrest of a man police say had bomb-making materials and explosive devices inside his home. Police officers in Copley, Lehigh County, had long guns drawn while responding to a domestic dispute. This was the scene on Sailor Drive. Police say they were called to a home there around 545 for a report of a man and woman getting into an argument, and the woman saying she was afraid to leave because there was a gun in the house. A gunman shot and killed six adults at a birthday party in Colorado and then took his own life. Officers arrived at a home in Colorado Springs early this morning to find six dead adults and a man with serious injuries who died later at a hospital. First at 10, the latest on the deadly condominium building collapse in South Florida. Nine people are now confirmed dead and another 150 are still missing as crews continue their frantic search through the rubble. Pennsylvania State Police marked the agency's 160 16th anniversary today by remembering the 99 state troopers who lost their lives in the line of duty since 1905. For everyone here, I'm Holly Herr to my dad Tom and all the dads working here at 69 News and those of you at home, happy Father's Day. We'll see you back here at 10.